Hello everybody, this is Carmela Bella from the Bella Home Staging Room Design. I'm going to take on a very small project today. I have some time to take this on, uh, not much, but it's a small project and I think I can do it. I haven't posted any videos lately because I've been so busy at work, but I have a little bit of a break and I really wanted to get this done. As you can see, I have two bookcases here that is, are not quite done. And you will see from the picture that it actually was all done and finished. But I have this space that I want to utilize. What I'm talking about is I have this light switch right here. I don't know if you can see it. That is very far away from the door. I was hoping to have that light switch come as close to the door frame as possible. But the, uh, <clears throat> the electrician said he can't do it. It, it has to stay where it is because there's a piece of wood there. So I'm really stuck with probably about 12 inches of space here. Now you're saying, what can you do with 12 inches of space? I'm a firm believer that every space can be utilized. Now I bought these bookcases from Ikea. So I went online hoping that I can find something to fit into that space. And it was about four inches too short. That's my life. So now I'm going to go to Home Depot, get some wood. By the way, they do cut it down for you so you don't have to worry about that and then just make it so that it fits right in there. That will allow me to put some books in there so I have more room from uh, on my shelves to put whatever it is that I want to put on there. So stay tuned. I'm going to show you the project as I go along. Now I want this bookcase to be flush against this wall right here, but I can't quite do that because I have this baseboard trimming and every time I open the door, it's going to get, I'm not gonna be able to because of that baseboard. So I had to put, if you can see, I'm gonna try to turn it around so you can see. I had to put this piece of wood here, can you see it? All right, so. It's, it's flushed against this. This is wood, this is the melamine. I spackled in to fill the uh, hole, the, um, the gap. Now I'm just gonna sand it and I'm gonna paint it so it's not so, um, it's not so noticeable, but it is a nice, it's, it's a nice little thing to put on here. So it's going to sit nice and flush against this. Okay, well, this is the preliminary. I put a two by four there to hold it together. It's not gonna go anywhere because it's gonna be sandwiched between these two. So I'm not too concerned about it. I had a little space between this point and the cabinet. So I wind up putting some shims. It worked really quite nicely. So I um, corked it a little bit and now I'm going to paint it so you don't see it. Once I do that, I will be able to put this against the wall, this cabinet against the wall. And then I can apply that, put the shelves in this. The shelves are going to hold it sturdy. I may put a piece of wood in the back of that one as well, just to make sure it's sturdy. And then that's it, or a shelf. I might put a shelf and just anchor it in there. I'm probably going to wind up doing that instead so it's nice and secure. But again, I'm not concerned because it's between these two. And I will probably put a screw on the top, anchoring all three pieces together. And it's not going anywhere. Okay, so now what I'm adding to this piece to make it more stable is, I, call, I think they call it masonite. It is a cardboard kind of thing. Um, on the back and on the front is white. So this way um, it's holding the piece together. I'm gonna to put finishing nails all along here and all the way around. So it's gonna really secure the piece. And then it goes up. Okay, you can see it's coming together. I've um, attached it. 
I'm gonna have to level it. It's a little crooked up there. Let to see, I gotta put some shims up there, uh, down there. Actually, when in doubt, shims work really well, but um, I'm gonna have to level that a little bit because it seems to be a little off. I'm not sure why, but I'll, I'll figure it out. Um, it's almost there. It's looking good. Okay, it is just about done. I added the crown molding. I will not take credit for cutting that because cutting the crown molding uh, and doing a minor edge uh, is really hard to do, so I actually had someone do it. But I did nail it in there, and you can see the nail holes, which I will... Cork. And I'll also cork that little space here. I'm not sure why it is, but it's Ikea, so you know, you get what you pay for. Um, but it looks well. I'm gonna cork all the seams here. I did this one already, the corking, and it'll come out really nice. So now I just kind of want to cork along this side here, going all the way down so it'll be nice and smooth, do any touch-up that I have to do. But for the most part, as I step back, it is done. It looks really good. I'm really, really happy with it. And I have to fix this part here at the edge here. I took the baseboard out, so now I have to fix that as well and do some touch-up. But for the most part, it's done. It's so much better than what it was. It looks like it's a more expensive piece, and it really isn't because it's just Ikea. Um, but I'm happy with the way it turned out. I painted the bottom. I caulked it and painted. So it looks nice and clean. And I did the edges over here, which are really nice. Caulked everything, filled in the nail hole so you see you don't see anything. I just finished painting, so it's still a little shiny, but it looks good. As you can see, it's a little nice and clean now. I did the edges along the way here and filled in all the spots. And I even finished this little spot over here. So all said and done, it came out nice. I'm quite happy with it. It looks much better than it did before. It looks like it's a custom made bookcase. Really it's not, it's Ikea. Not the best brand, but not the worst. But when you add to it by putting in your own Little twist, adding bookcases, adding crown molding, just finishing it up like this, you get a much better look. Okay, well, the project is done. Took me a little longer than I thought because I had to work in between and I had to let the corking dry and the spackling dry. And that's really important, let it dry. Take the time for it to dry, it comes out better. I learned that the hard way. So it did take me a little longer than I thought, but not too long. Uh, I'm very pleased with it. I think it came out really nice. I'm very happy with it. And um, that's it for now. I'm on to my next project. I don't know when that will be because right now I'm really busy with work, so I have to take a little bit of break, but I'm sure I'll find something to do because um, uh, I just like taking on projects. I hope you enjoy this project. I hope you learned something. Until the next time, take care, everyone. Bye.